All right, what we're building here is trying to get us a hand pump. In case we lose power, we can still have water because the one thing you need on your place is water. If you don't have water, you don't make it. So we're starting off with a foot valve. Picked these up at any hardware store. We went down to Alexander's in Wiggins, Mississippi. Picked it up with a coupler. Put it on the end of our pipe. That's supposed to be what's going to hold it. Hold the water. There's a little valve in there that let water come through, but won't let it go back out. We got 60 foot of pipe. Over here, we'll use three quarter inch with a cap on it to act as a plunger. When you pull it up, it pulls the, the water in, and when you push it, it displaces around it to come up, in theory. We shall see. Okay, our little coupler that goes on, it's just an inch and a quarter coupler, slides in and glues. The foot screws into it. These little ridges right here are going to be a little bit of problem to go inside of our two inch casing. So we got our handy dandy <laughs> remover <laughs> thingy. And let's see how it works. Oh, yeah. All right, that seems to be taking it down smooth. We'll just go ahead and knock the other ones off and uh, see if we can get it in there. All right, now that we have machined the little nipples off the end of that coupling with our handy dandy flapper wheel and drill, as you can see, it's going in the hole. This is the inch and a quarter going into the two inch casing that we had put the foot valve on the end. And right here, we got another coupling. I had to machine the inside of it with the same handy dandy flapper wheel and glued it in place. That'll take it from a two inch ID or OD, two inch OD to inch and a quarter ID, which stops right there. All right, now we're gonna put our plunger in. As you can see, there's a cap. It also had a few little nipples. We, we machined them down with a flapper wheel so that it will go slide inside and out. Now we'll put it in. All right, we got it down, got a little tight. So we was hoping that was water. And we got what, what is that? About six foot, seven foot up, we have water. Now, something happens, we can drink. And now what we have is we will put a T on here for a spout. Put our spout out and I will also build a handle with another small T out of what's sticking out. Put a T on it, come out with a handle for pumping. And after that is complete, we have handy dandy caps. We're not going to glue them, but we'll stick them over the opening of the, of the spout coming out of the T to keep any debris or anything from going inside of our new around $200 worth of material pump. And you can get this stuff at any hardware store. So now I have a peace of mind that anytime my family, if the power goes out, I can pump water to keep our animals that we're going to be eating and surviving off of, and we got something to drink and bathe and wash. All right, this is it from Yo Walker Farms. All right, we took cut and put a T on. 
and use the drop pieces we took, split them apart to make us a handle for our handy dandy little whale. And she's working pretty good. We're about $200 into this. All this stuff is done. Going down to Alexander's there in Wiggins, they had everything we needed. So there it is. Tune in for next week's episode. <laughs>